Today's project is going to be to connect this SDR Play software-defined receiver to this Samsung Galaxy S4 Android smartphone. So the items I have are, of course, the SDR Play receiver here. I've got connected an SMA to uh, SO239 adapter. I've got the SO239N connected to some coax which runs out to a 40 and 80 meter fan dipole that's out in my side yard. I've also got a standard A to B USB cable connected to the SDR play, but the A end is not connected to anything else yet. Over here, I've got a USB A to micro B adapter. I just ordered this on Amazon. The first thing that I'm going to do is go into the Play Store and I am going to search for SDR Play. The first item on the list right here is the SDR Play driver. This is needed to allow the SDR Play to interface with the Android smartphone. So I'm going to install this by clicking on it. Once the driver is installed, uh, I'm not going to open it or do anything with it. The next thing that I'm going to do is install the SDR Touch software. And you can see that's already come up in the search that I had for SDR Play. There's an entry here, the second one down, and then there's one further down here, the SDR Touch Live Offline Radio. Uh, for the purposes of this video, uh, I'm going to use the free version or demo version of SDR Touch which is this one labeled with the live offline radio. If you plan on using the purchased version of SDR Touch, you'll need to install this first. And what is recommended is that you download and install the SDR Touch before you download and install the full version and pay for it, uh, just to make sure that the application is compatible with your SDR and with your smartphone. Having said that, I'm going to install SDR Touch. Now that SDR Touch is installed, before I open it, I'm going to connect this adapter. So here's a closer look at the adapter. You can see there's the USB-A end. So this cable will plug in just like that, just like a normal USB cable. And then this end is the USB-B micro end which will plug into the bottom of my phone. This is a little bit of a tight fit. Now that I have the USB cable connected through the adapter here, I'm going to go ahead and open the software now that it's installed. And I'll just go ahead and say OK to that, Terms and Conditions, and you can see the software is up and in a default state. The first thing that I'll do is tune the radio to a station before I turn it on. And you can see it defaults to 100 megahertz, and it's in FM mode. I'm going to stick with FM mode just for now. So in order to tune to a frequency, I'm going to slide this top slider over to jump and tap that. And then in this box, I'm going to type in the frequency that I want, which is going to be, for now, 91.7. WHUS from the University of Connecticut. I'm going to power it up and see if it works. And you can see I'm getting this message about the SDR Play driver. So you can check this box to use this by default, which I'm going to do, and then say OK. And it's asking me it again, so I'm going to say OK. So you should be able to hear that uh, I'm receiving the signal now. And you can see here it also displays the RDS call sign information. If I click this tab, you can see I get some full information about the signal strength. And I should get some of the RDS information here.
So now I'm going to try the AM broadcast band. And I'm going to tap the mode button. And I'm going to go to AM. I'm going to slide back over here to jump. And I'm going to punch in my local AM broadcast station, which is 1.080 WTIC out of Hartford, Connecticut. And you can hear it's coming in, um, but I'm getting some noise there. There's quite a high-pitched whine. That's probably interference from the computer or the Wi-Fi router or something. I'm down here in the cellar, um, and it's probably coming through the, the box or the USB cable. I'm not using a, a shielded USB cable at the moment. Another way to tune this is to just simply slide the slider. So I'll try this station here. And I'm not sure what this one is. So this is a little bit touchy, this slider. It's a little bit hard to dial in the exact frequency, but you can get kind of close. You can also tune by sliding the frequency scale left and right. One of the limitations of SDR Touch's demo mode is that you only get one minute of access to the spectrum scope. So if I turn that on by tapping the button, you can see the countdown there. But you can also see that the spectrum scope is pretty useful on this. So if I tune around, now there's a lot of noise on the AM broadcast band. You can see there's a noise spike there. If I slide way up here, maybe we can see some activity in the ham band. There's a shortwave station, I guess, coming in there. Um, but you can see there's a useful band scope and a waterfall display here as well. So if you're interested in having those features, you'll need to pay for the full version of the SDR Touch software. But if you're interested in just using the radio and being able to tune around, then, uh, then the free demo version will work just fine for you. Now that my... 60 second demo is up you can see that the reminder has popped up to ask me if I want to go ahead and purchase the the pro key and of course I'm not going to do that right now I'm just going to continue to use the radio without the spectrum so I'm going to try a sideband station I'm up here in the 75 80 meter band and I'm going to switch over to lower sideband and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and, and drag this way diagonally to kind of zoom in so that I have a little bit finer control over changing the frequency. You can see it's still a little touchy and uh, there's also some latency in the swipe. So there, I've got a frequency dialed in. And as I said before, it's kind of hard to get on the exact frequency when sliding with your finger. So in this case, it might be good to get close and then use the jump function to get to the exact frequency, which is probably 3626 in this case. I'm not sure if those guys are actually at 3625.5 or if the radio is off a tiny bit but uh, either way I've got them dialed in here now and they're quite listenable. Now there's some other features up here along the top bar there's mode, the spectrum scope, there's a squelch, the jump function uh, I guess you can scan with this I haven't tried that yet there's an offset, there's recording which I'm not sure if recording is available in the demo mode or if that's one of the pay only features, but there's a button for it there. Um, open, not sure what that does. Gains, must allow um, some gain, gains to be changed. And then there's some preferences and help. So I think I'll wrap this video up here. Um, you can see that interfacing the SDR Play with an Android smartphone is a fairly easy and painless process. Um, the only thing that's really needed that's a little bit out of the ordinary 
is this um, USB adapter, which is readily available from Amazon, as well as other places. Um, I just happened to get mine from Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. Thanks for watching.